You know what else she's got me doing there? Reading books. <laughs> she'll read something, she'll come to me and she'll say, So for 2020, I decided to use this Suki bullet journal, which I actually found through an Instagram account called Notebook Therapy, and they sent me this bullet journal to try out, along with this super cute little pouch that it came with, which is really useful because, watch me demonstrate, this comes down like so, and makes it super easy to reach for all the tools, which is awesome. I've never seen a pencil case like this before. Thanks so much, Notebook Therapy, for sending me this. And I really like the notebook. It's super cute. My only concern so far is there is a little bit of wear, even though I've only been using it for a couple of weeks. So I'm anticipating that the pink will rub off by the end of the year. But I don't know if... If that's avoidable or not because I've never used a non-black journal before overall it's a really cute design I love the tiny little moon so this video is a little bit choppy because I didn't quite plan out what footage I was gonna use in which order so I'm just gonna say hello now because I didn't in the beginning but I hope everyone's doing well and this video is going to be a little bit different from the ones that I've been uploading on my channel so far I've mostly been talking exclusively about my artwork and showing you guys the time lapse and process of my traditional illustrations. But for this video, I just wanted to show you guys how I set up my 2020 bullet journal and casually talk about how much of a difference it's made in my life since I started using it last year and how I've been using it to plan my projects and how it just overall increased my level of productivity like tenfold it's been a really really helpful thing in my life so yeah as you can see so far i've just showed you what the notebook looks like and some of the features that it has there's nothing too complicated here so i'm not going to talk about it and i just briefly flipped through the test page that i did to test a bunch of different art supplies and pens that i have to see how it stands up to the paper which was overall Pretty good, um, not a whole lot of bleed through for anything other than too much water, so I don't think I'll be using watercolors. But yeah, so here I'm just showing you the stuff that I'm planning to use, the stickers in for, uh, specifically. These ones on the screen that you see right now are from a washi tape sticker pack that I designed myself. I just did one tester and it's been sitting around for a while because I never got around to going any further with that project but for I decided to take the opportunity to use the sticker pack for my new 2020 bullet journal to see how useful it is see if there's any changes that I want to make to it and yeah that's a new product that I've been working on so my plan is to design one more pack before I order a batch of these so I'm gonna let you guys know how that goes as you can see, I specifically designed them to be used in a bullet journal because it's definitely something I really like doing and I really want to design more stuff. By stuff, I mean new products, specifically ones that I would really want to use myself. So in this part of the video, I'm just setting up the very first page, which is going to be the title page and I'm using one of my favorite stickers out of the pack. I was just planning out where to put it and make sure that it's centered. I've never really set up with this much intention before. Like last time I started using a bullet journal was my very first time and it was near the beginning of 2018. I just kind of jumped into it without thinking about the different modules and stuff and I did not even have a, a title page I don't think but this time I wanted to put a little bit more thought into it so I picked a color scheme prior to starting the setup and as you can see some of them like I already picked colors for markers and gel pens that I'm going to be using 
and the markers that you see over there in the top left corner of the screen are zebra mild liners which i like quite a bit and i have a bunch of packs of different colors and usually i will just go pick the ones that i'm planning to use for the month or whatever i'm doing and keep those around in within reach so I also wanted to mention the circular looking stickers that you see are actually really cool. They're one of my favorite things to use for bullet journal setup or bullet journaling in general currently. And they are print on stickers. So right here, I'm just putting one on now and you just gotta like put some pressure onto it and it transfers onto the paper perfectly. And it looks like the page came with it. Like it looks like it's been printed on the page. So it's really cool. Uh, I will link the store from which I order these in the description. And here's just a little detail shot of me outlining the letters for bullet journal. It's, it's pretty tough for me to do stuff like this. I have to pay a lot of attention because I'm prone to making mistakes very easily like I don't know it, it, my brain works in weird ways like I will always miss a letter so just to be on the safe side I did write it out in pencil first Here I'm just finishing it up and to be honest I wasn't really a huge fan of how the writing turned out. Mm, I think the using the pink pen to outline it once again was like a big mistake so I actually ended up going in later and replacing it like covering up with the new paper. But yeah so now I'm just moving on to the next page and testing out some of the ornamental designs that I did. It was actually so, so fun for me to work on the sticker pack it, because for once I wasn't working on characters or anything specifically and I was just kind of zoning out and coming up with a bunch of ornamental designs and I did it by watercolor on paper and then scanned them in. So that was a lot of fun and for the next sticker pack that I'm planning to design that's going to be in a different color scheme. I will definitely film the process and talk about it and show you guys the whole, I guess, process of how I'm gonna go about making these sticker packs. So I'm gonna tell you about how I got into this whole thing to begin with. Basically last year, uh, at the very beginning of last year, was it last year? 2019. Was it 2018? I don't know. Yeah, I think I started, uh, yes, I started using bullet journals at the beginning of 2019. Before that, I've always had some sort of notebook on hand where I made lists for my daily activities. And usually I didn't do much planning ahead, but I would sometimes make a list like at some point in the day to just make sure that I know all the stuff that I have to get done. Sometimes I'll make a list of the stuff that I have to do for the week etc and it was actually kind of similar to a bullet journal in a lot of ways but it was missing the crucial structure and like the whole setup and how i guess the system the bullet journaling system which is something that i find pretty useful even though i don't use it in the same way that the original created creator of the bullet journal um system did I just kind of picked the stuff that seems to be working for me, but it's always being iterated. So sometimes I try to do different things and add something new, etc. But I do think that I figured out what works for me on a very basic level. Anyways, I will definitely come back and talk about the modules that I'm putting together here later on. But since it takes some time to obviously execute the plan. I'm not gonna bother talking about every single step of the stuff that I'm writing down. Uh, instead, I'm just gonna come back to it later and talk to you guys once it's finished about the specific setup. 
but yeah so back to how and why i started using bullet journaling in the first place basically i even though i did try to make lists all the time i did still struggle a lot with productivity and getting things done and organization in general i've never been like a naturally particularly organized person i definitely really enjoy the act of organizing but that's specifically because i am so disorganized in my head like it's impossible for me to keep the things that i'm supposed to be doing in my head like i will forget really important stuff all the time so and also i'm very prone to zoning out and getting distracted like getting distracted to the point where i will be completely lost about what i'm supposed to be doing for hours so i'll end up wasting so much time which is why for me having a list done at the beginning of the day is super helpful and the more stuff it includes the easier it is for me to follow through and get things done so i will often write down stuff that i have to do around the house like basic cleaning things getting groceries like the smallest tasks and sometimes when i'm not in the most productive mood and when i'm having an extra hard time focusing i will break tasks down to even smaller ones which can be which can seem super redundant to naturally productive people but personally to me it's been an absolute life changer because at any point if i get super distracted and my mind just blanks i can take a look at the list and just pick a thing and i can instantly execute and surprisingly i can't just do it without looking at a list to tell me what to do so yeah at the beginning of 2019 one of my friends just casually mentioned something about bullet journaling and i was curious enough to look into it and was pretty much immediately interested in the whole idea for those of you guys who don't know what bullet journaling is it's pretty straightforward but i'm not gonna explain it here but we'll leave a link in the description so you can just pause the video and take a quick look if you are interested so right off the bat the thing that interested me the most was that it is kind of marketed as an analog method for the digital age which is the first thing you see once you go on the website and the whole idea of that was really appealing to me because over the years i have tried digital organization tools and nothing really worked for me and there was something really unsatisfactory about typing things in i personally really like checking boxes off when i'm done with the task and the physical act of doing it with my hand is way more satisfactory than just checking off a box on the computer screen and i know this this might seem really weird and i'm not sure how redundant this kind of stuff is to those of you who are probably a lot more inclined to natural productivity than i am but this kind of manual like these little manual steps do way more for me psychologically than just using simple streamlined tools that are designed to save time so i guess on this note i do want to talk about the fact that bullet journaling is probably more time consuming than other methods of organization but i guess that's why it's called journaling and not just planning because there is kind of an intimate aspect to the whole thing and you do have to sit down and set up the journal and plan all these things and to me it's almost like some sort of ritualistic activity or maybe more meditative if i think about it because it forces me to really sit down and make time specifically to design the type of life that i want to have and the types of things that i want to do whilst including the work as well and i think just the act of being in that mindset of specifically planning your life out really psychologically does wonders <laughs> i don't really know how to explain it any better than that but basically when i first started doing it the first biggest change was that after migrating tasks onto the next day and onto the next day and onto the next week and failing to do a bunch of stuff that i set out to do I, it was difficult um, to be 100% aware of just how low my level of productivity actually was because sometimes I was convinced that 
at the end of the day, like I did do enough work and things seemed to be getting t- done in a timely manner. But uh, I was still obviously very unhappy that, uh, with the amount of stuff that I was able to accomplish because I had to just not do a myriad of things that I wanted to in favor of accomplishing the very basic stuff just to keep myself afloat. So the the exposure of the lack of productivity that I couldn't mask anymore was very helpful. It was kind of super depressing at first because I felt really bad about my ability to like control myself and stop myself from being distracted and just wasting a bunch of time. But slowly, once I zeroed in on the fact that a bunch of things were getting left undone, I started to adjust the level of expectations because I realized that my I have, I was way off on what I expected myself to do in a day versus what I was actually able to do. And it forced me to take into consideration things like mental energy and how it can expand way faster than you think. And basically, I ended up lowering the expectations for myself, but miraculously, lowering the expectations actually increased my overall productivity and output. So yeah, that's something to take away. And just pausing on this, I wanted to let you guys know that I could not finish setting it up in one evening, so I had to take up the task again the next morning, which is understandable because it does take quite some time to set up the initial first few pages, but thankfully they only have to be set up once. So yeah, back to discussing productivity. After I was able to determine that I put myself in a hole by basically expecting to do way too many things in a small amount of time, I started making lists differently. So I would start by setting monthly lists of things that I would really like to do and things that I really have to do and then plan accordingly. So I will usually go in with a pencil now and try to put in a bunch of tasks and I'm a lot more realistic with my planning now, but still, I gotta say, it's a problem that's really, really difficult for me to get rid of. Like, on any given day, I will always end up expecting myself to do way more than I physically can, so that's something I'm definitely still working on, but it is getting better with time. (laughs) So one of the other reasons why I'm so attracted to the bullet journaling experience and why I love it so much is because I am a very aesthetically driven person and although I understand how these things can seem frivolous to somebody who is less aesthetically driven, I derive so much pleasure from just looking at things that are neat and beautiful to me. So setting up a bullet journal in a way that makes me feel happy looking at it every single time I do makes for a much more, um, how can I put it, pleasant experience from day to day. Because even when I, when I'm technically trying to be productive and working on things that I might not even necessarily want to be working at, just the fact that I use the journal so often and I have to glance at it all the time to check what I'm supposed to be doing, it just puts me in a better overall mood. And you know, over the years I found that I do not take for granted the tiny little things that contribute to my mood overall because I did struggle with depression and like just severe debilitating inability to get anything done and just being extremely unhappy for a very, very long time overall. I mean, that's something that I'm probably going to talk about later, but anyways, so... Over the years, I've found that there you cannot take for granted the tiny little things and how much it really all adds up. So I have a pretty specific preference for just the stuff that I surround myself with. And I try to make sure that things are always visually appealing and add a tiny little bit to my overall good mood throughout the day. And that definitely makes me able to kind of like sustain a more content mindset throughout the day so like for instance being surrounded by a mess or things that make me feel chaotic 
is definitely something I try to avoid. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if the, the reason why I'm so attracted to order and aesthetic things is because I do have a lot of internal chaos. So it's kind of like uh, an attempt to balance out what's going on inside with things that are outside. I don't know, that's just a crazy theory with no, <laughs> not grounded in any data whatsoever, but I don't know, I think that that's something that could maybe be true for me. Because I mean, like, if I was just naturally more inclined to be organized, I don't think I would need any of the stuff to really help me out, but I was basically helpless without having a physical journal, so it's made a world of difference in my life. So yeah, just jumping back to what I'm doing on the screen, I'm just finishing up the setup and at this point I'm at the January title page and pretty soon I will switch over to the footage that I took, unfortunately a while ago, explaining to you guys what all the modules are and what I'm planning to use for them. So please excuse the, dif the difference in enthusiasm in my voice. I think I was kind of tired the day that I was recording the flip through audio that's about to follow. So I hope you guys enjoy the explanation. show you guys the finished setup I ended up changing this out because I was really bothered by how it came out the first time and so I decided to just stick a new paper over it and do like a cleaner label and I have not filled this in yet but I'm just this is pretty straightforward just gonna put in a bunch of goals that I'm gonna try to achieve this year and order is for cleaning and organizing and stuff so I'm planning to do like three lists three or four lists in here a weekly list of things I gotta do maybe like a daily monthly and whatever else I can think of that pertains to this label and I haven't really figured out how I'm gonna fill this out yet but this is for my ideal work day slash ideal rest day so anytime I find myself being kind of lazy and lethargic and if I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing I'd like to have like a really good schedule plan planned out ahead of time um, specifically that includes like time slots I've never really done that before and I don't like doing that because it makes me feel way too constrained but it would be nice to have just for reference so I can look at it and use it if I do decide Anyways, I really like how this spread turned out. It is kind of similar to what I did last year. I had one half the year on a double page spread and another half on the next one, but I decided to just combine them and, oh yeah, did I mention this yet? I decided to use my own washi sticker pack that I designed. I just wanted to like test it out to see how it would look in an actual journal. And I really want to make the kind of stuff that I would really want to use myself in terms of products and stuff. So this was a great test. I honestly really, really like this set and especially these colors. You can't really see them in the video too well, but they're, they're really nice to look at in person. And I do like how it turned out. I want to tweak a couple of things and design one more pack before I make the order. So I will let you guys know if anybody was interested in this washi sticker pack. Here's finances. I still have to fill all this out. I didn't really want to do it before filming this part because, you know, I don't know, a bunch of private information, I guess. And I also have a wish list and a need list. Need would probably refer to things that I could probably really use for work or in general that I don't yet have and then want, you know, fucking straightforward and a reading list because I definitely want to read more this year. Last year I didn't really even finish any of the books that I was reading, mostly because the stuff that I was into for the past few years was mostly non-fiction and more like in the textbook area. And sometimes it's really difficult to get through those books, so I wanted to keep a little list, otherwise things just uh, get left unfinished. 
But yeah, and this is also a sticker from the pack. I wanted to make the pack specifically for bullet journaling, so I included some bigger stickers in the center of um, the six pages that I have. Uh, some, of the, some of the pages that I have in the pack that can specifically be used <clears throat> for title pages to save time and to have a nice little theme going. So that's definitely, definitely something I'm gonna do more of for the next pack. And so this is the January setup. Um, kind of using the same layout as it did last year. It really worked for me. This little space here, maybe I'll take some notes or something. I noticed that a lot of the postmortems that I did last year, which is like the review uh, at the end of each month, I didn't really get around to filling those out. So maybe I should make something more comprehensive, less like a journal entry and maybe more like a list of stuff, which should be easier to follow. Um, yeah, and I just started using this journal and I'm very happy that I have it. It was very hard for me not to have a journal at all because I ended up wasting a bunch of time not knowing what to do. And I used these little cute stickers from a set that my friend Nina sent me from Japan. Uh, so yeah, that's how my 2020 journal setup looks like and I'm super excited to continue using it. And I'm going to film my February setup soon, which I have not done yet, but I'm very excited about. So to wrap up this video, which is unfortunately a little poorly planned on my part, still learning how to edit and put together videos, but yeah. So the still that you see is the stuff that I used from my February bullet journal setup, and I am going to edit that very soon and show you guys. So thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you like this type of content because I am planning to do a lot more stuff like this. And please let me know in the comments down below if you like bullet journaling, if it's something you do, what your favorite part about it is, how much it has impacted your life, or if you don't bullet journal, let me know if that's something you're interested in and whatever questions you might have or what type of content about bullet journaling you'd like to see next. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!